Hey there, retro gaming fans, and welcome to another episode of What's New on Bado Sierra, your go-to series for all the latest updates on new systems and features in Bado Sierra. I'm Modhack, here to guide you through everything you need to know about the newest additions. What's in store today? We're taking a closer look at a feature that's sure to please Doom 3 fans. The ability to launch Doom 3 mods directly from Emulation Station. So, grab your flashlight, load up your plasma rifle, and let's explore the darkest corridors of retro gaming with Bato Sira. All right, let's kick things off by talking about Doom 3 itself. Doom 3 is an open source port of the original Doom 3 engine, offering modern improvements and better compatibility on today's hardware. Bato Sierra first integrated Doom 3 in version 41, allowing you to enjoy Doom 3 right inside Emulation Station. Now, with the latest update, you can install and launch custom mods straight from your Bato Sierra menu. Let me show you what that looks like and where to grab these awesome mods. One of the great things about Doom 3 is the sheer variety of mods you can try. Some are total conversions, transforming Doom 3 into a completely new experience with different mechanics and style. For example, Scarlet Rivenson and Hard Corpse are perfect if you're looking for something that feels fresh and distinct from the usual Doom 3 atmosphere. They offer unique settings, storylines, and gameplay elements that take you far beyond the original campaign. On the other hand, you've got mods that revive classic content within the Doom 3 engine. Classic Doom 3 is a prime example. It lets you revisit the iconic maps from the very first Doom, but now powered by Doom 3's more advanced graphics. It's a fantastic blend of nostalgic level design and modern visuals. If you want even more story content in the Doom 3 universe, there's the Lost Mission, which adds extra missions and scenarios to the original game. It's a great way to expand on the Doom 3 narrative and uncover more about its eerie setting. For those who love tinkering with visuals and gameplay tweaks, mods like Perfected Doom 3 and Sick Mod really stand out. Perfected Doom 3 aims to enhance the overall look and feel of the game, improving graphics, balancing weapons, and sharpening enemy AI. Meanwhile, Sick Mod goes a step further providing a suite of customizable effects like depth of field and bloom so you can tailor the entire Doom 3 experience to your own taste. In short, whether you're after a completely different Doom 3 adventure, a fresh spin on classic maps, or a next-level graphical overhaul, there's a mod out there that'll suit your style. And now you can enjoy it all right here in Bato Sierra. Now let's look at the official Doom 3 mods page. It lists a variety of Doom 3 add-ons that work with Bato Sierra's Doom 3 engine port, and you'll usually find download links here. Keep in mind, not all Doom 3 mods are compatible with this engine, so if you don't see a particular mod on the page, it might not work. But for most popular mods, you'll find everything you need right here. All right, now let's talk about how to install these mods in Bato Sierra. The first thing you'll want to do is open the ROM slash Doom 3 folder in Bato Sierra, where you'll find a text info file. That file explains how to install the base game, Doom 3, as well as the Resurrection of Evil expansion. We won't cover that process today, but keep in mind you'll need both the base game and the expansion for most of these mods. Next, let's focus on the Mods section. That same text file also lists many of the mods that are supported by the Doom 3 engine. To install a mod, Simply copy the files from your downloaded mod into a new folder at the root of the Doom 3 directory. The name of this folder must match the mod's codename. Things like A Doom for Classic Doom or D3 Lee for the Lost Mission. And make sure to keep it all lowercase. Once you've got the files in place, you need to create a launcher so that Emulation Station recognizes the mod. Just like with most other systems in Bato Sierra, you'll make a new file with the .d3 extension. You can name this file whatever you like, but inside, it must specify the folder name of the mod you want to launch. If you're unsure about the exact mod name, check either the text info file in the ROMs folder or the official Doom 3 Mods page. And that's it. Once you've saved your new launcher, 
you're ready to fire up these amazing mods right from Emulation Station. And that's it for today's look at Doom 3 mods in Bato Sira. It's been a blast rediscovering this classic with fresh graphics and completely new gameplay experiences. Just remember, this mod launching feature is only available in the latest beta versions of Bato Sira, so make sure you're up to date. I hope everything was clear, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more Bato Sira tips and retro gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.